Welcome, welcome. Let's talk about adding UTMs to Google Ads. Let's dive in. So let me first tell you a bit about myself. I am Manisha Mystery. I'm an instructor at measurementmarketing.io. As an instructor, I work with our dedicated measurement marketing clients and our members to harness the power of marketing data and make data-driven decisions. What does that mean? It means I'm passionate about learning and helping others grow. I'm really passionate about sharing my knowledge in Looker Studio, BigQuery, and Analytics Canvas, and I'm here to help. Now, before we dive in to any of our learnings, we always want to focus on one thing. What is one thing you can take away today and go and implement? Think about it as when you learn to ride a bike, right? Just start going, learn one thing, master it, and then before you know it, you've learned 10 one things. Alrighty, now we're diving into adding UTMs to Google Ads. Let's start. Alrighty, before we get into Google Ads and start setting our UTMs in Google Ads, we want to make sure we have our UTM traffic tracking toolkit filled out so our UTMs tell a story in Google Ads. If you are not familiar with our traffic tracking toolkit and how we recommend your UTMing your traffic to your site so that it tells a story, I highly recommend you take a look at the workshop listed in the comments um, and watch that. And then at the end, I will mention how you can get access to this free tool and many other free tools. Um, and the benefit of using the Traffic Tracking Toolkit is it will give you the ability to plan out your UTMs and then make sure they tell a story. Now, let's dive in and talk a bit about UTMs in Google Ads. So we all know Google Ads has many different levels. There's the account level, there's the campaign level, there's the ad group level, and there's the ad level. Now, the one thing we have to remember in Google Ads is you can set UTMs at all of these levels. And the truth is, if you had a UTM at every single level of your ads, let's say you had one at the account level, and one at the campaign level, and one at the ad group level, and one at the ad level, the one that will take precedence is the ad level. So I'm going to make this green. There we go. So then what will happen is, let's say you have different UTMs at each of these levels, or you make updates to the UTMs. Well, unfortunately, if you don't make them at the ad level, they will not come through. So it kind of gets confusing if you set UTMs at all the levels. Our recommendation and the way we run our ads is we like to set them not at the campaign level, not at the ad group level, or not at the ad level. We like to set them at the account level and then use custom parameters or not custom parameters and send over value track parameters that tell us the campaign, the ad group, and the ad that cause the result and the behavior we were looking for. Now let's go through that in Google Ads. Okay, hopping over into Google Ads. So coming into our Google Ads account, you may be in your client's account or your own account. What you first want to do before setting UTM is you want to make sure auto tagging is on. How do you turn auto tagging on? So you come down this bar, you go to admin, and then you go to account settings. When you go to account settings, you're going to see a couple different things here, just a little bit of information about the account, and then you're going to see auto tagging, and you're going to click this carrot, um, and you're going to click, make sure this is checked, make sure this is clicked to show like this. And if it's not, just check mark it and then hit save. And it should show yes here. Sometimes it takes a moment, but it should show yes here. Alrighty, now you have auto tagging on. Great job. Next up, we want to talk about tr uh, a traffic tracking template in your Google Ads. So same place under admin, under account settings, come down right under auto tagging is tracking. Okay. Now, Here's the benefit of using a tracking template in Google Ads. What you do here, I'm going to hop back into my Lucid chart, is you set them at the account level. And then any time ads are running in your account, Google Ads knows to go look for this tracking template. The URL is, this represents the URL, and then it will add on all of this to your URL. And the nice thing is it is, you know, it's dynamic. So this information, campaign ID, ad group ID, and keyword will be added to the URL based on whichever ad, you know, is sending the traffic. So hopping into my second loosen chart here. So here's my tracking template. Here's my different ads. Let's call this for argument's sake, add one, add two, add three, and add four. 
Well, what it will do is when this ad's running, you know, let's say this ad caused the behavior I want, it will basically tack on this to this, the ad's URL, and then send the traffic to the site. And then the same thing for the next ad and the next ad. Now, how does this tracking template work? So this represents your, your landing page URL that you set at your ad for your ad. Okay. What this represents is first UTM source. You want to set the uh, UTM source for your Google ads to be Google. Then you have a ampersign. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Then you have UTM median. Because Google ads is paid traffic, you want to use CPC. You could also use PPC here. Just make sure if you use CPC or PPC, you use that across all other paid media. Okay. Next is campaign name. So for this one, sorry, UTM campaign. For this one, you use campaign ID. Now, what is this? In Google ads, this is something called a value track parameter. So I'm going to hop over here. This link is provided. Um, this is a Google support article that kind of walks through how you can use value track parameters and you can definitely give this a read. The key section in here you want to look towards is scrolling down to the bottom and this is usually closed like this. So you just want to pop it open and this is available value track parameters. Basically, these are parameters Google makes available to us that we can use in our template. So you could have, uh, just looking here, keyword was one of them, placement, right? Uh, creative is the ad ID. So we decided for campaign name, we're going to use campaign ID in some cases. However, we also prefer using something called custom parameters, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. Okay. So hopping back over here. So you can have campaign ID. Content is um, ad group ID, right? And UTM term is keyword. And you can also tack on something like ad ID, but separating it with something. So, you know, we know this is this keyword and then this is the ad ID. Now, a few minutes ago, I mentioned custom parameters. How do you use those and what are they? Okay. So in this template, the one piece that, you know, you end up with is ID and ID, which, you know, can fracture your traffic. So how can you do this another way? and not, not fracture your traffic. So that is where custom parameters come in. So I'm actually going to scroll down and I have the one I just showed you up here, but then I have another one here. And if you look closely, what's the key difference between these two? I'm actually going to just take my select and I'm going to go highlight and I'm going to highlight. Oh, it's going to do the whole block. Okay. So not going to let us do that, but we can totally bold it. Okay. Just going to do this and I'm going to bold this. And I'm going to bold this. Okay. So what are custom parameters? Okay. So Google has a great article on this kind of walks you through what are custom parameters, but let's show you how to use them. So hopping in here. So what you do is you take this template like this, exactly like this, and you'd copy it and you'd paste it in your account settings. So I'm going to do that step first. So now I know my template is set and then you're going to hit save. Alrighty. Now let's go back into do, 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 campaigns and go overview. And let's go take a look at one of our campaigns. Okay. So I'm going to pick this one, which is display foundation and then click on this, which is the settings. And we're going to come down here and you don't see it here. So sometimes it's, you know, it can be missed. We miss it a lot. Trust me. We've been there. Click on additional settings and then scroll down. And what you're looking for is campaign URL options. Click on that. And if you notice, we've kept this empty and you want to, because remember the different levels, but scroll down and you'll see, we have campaign name here. And then we put the word Academy and then you do the same thing at the ad group level and the ad level. And then what Google will do is when this campaign, the ad group in here and the ad sends traffic over, it will pop in those custom values in here. So you can have your product or service name you're promoting your, maybe your ad group name is, you know, your ad group is the audience. And then this can be the ad name and the ad name can be, Hey, you know, this is the Academy ad that's, you know, talking about, you know, how within, you know, 90 days you go from, you know, no measurement plan to a measurement plan, right? Something like that. And then with this, you get the benefits of having, you know, a campaign name and ad group and an ad name in your UTM with the added benefit of having the UTM set up at the account level. So there you have it. That is how you set UTMs at the account level in Google ads without custom parameters and with custom parameters.
So what was your one thing? Was your one thing that you could set UTMs at the account level and have that set once and then use custom parameters or value tag parameters to get the values for campaign uh, term and content? Many things were shared in this workshop and we really would love your feedback. We also think if you found it useful to subscribe, there are many exciting workshops coming and we'll be excited to see you there. Now, as we go through any of our training, as we go through any of our growth, we want to make sure we come back to the framework. When it comes to UTMs, it's very much a build step and we want to make sure we have our UTMs in place as it helps us track our traffic and then helps us tell a story, which then we can listen to forecast and optimize on. Now, if you want access to the tool I mentioned at the start, which was the traffic tracking toolkit and many other free tools, you can join the Measurement Marketing Academy. To learn more about the Academy, you can go to measure.tips slash get academy. And from there, you can learn more about the Academy and how to join us and get access to free tools. There you go, adding UTMs to Google Ads.